the number one question I get from my students is, why can't I hit the ball further? Why can't I generate more club head speed? Why can't I hit 400 yard drives? Well, I don't think I'm going to be able to help you with a 400 yard drive, but I certainly believe I can help you with a couple things that will help improve your club head speed. I think the main factor in having good club head speed is having lag on the downswing. Here I have Tiger Woods hitting a fairway wood off the tee, a very low tee, and you can see the ball is positioned slightly inside his left heel. As we start the swing, you can see the club is going along the line of the red dots. So it's a big wide circle here on the backswing. If we stop here, we can see the angle between his left arm and the shaft is not straight. That's because he has hinged his wrists a little bit to start to load up the angle that he can then retain on the downswing and have that wonderful lag. As Tiger goes a little bit further, we see he gets into this position and his left arm is here and now there is even more lag of the shaft going up. At this position, the golf club disappears off the screen. And as the swing keeps going, we see that it'll come out in just a moment right here on the red dot. So here's Tiger on the red dot. And this position at the top of the backswing by most professionals is called position P4. As he starts his downswing, you can see he drops the golf club and now all of a sudden, the big circle of the backswing and the red dots has now become a smaller circle. So I think this motion is done at P4.1 right at the beginning of the downswing. And as we go along here, we can see that the club is now on the screen the whole way. It hasn't gone off the screen like the backswing. If we hold up here, we can see Tiger's left arm and then the shaft back up in here. He has great lag in this position. He's holding this lag until the last moment so then he can explode the club at the golf ball. As he comes down here, that lag still remains here at around 90 degrees. So if I draw a line from the left arm here, up the shaft, you can see 90 degrees of lag, which is what is a huge, huge source of power. At this point, we can see the tiger's right knee has started moving forward so he can get his weight on his left leg. And if I stop at this position here, the last green dot, and draw a line from here down to the golf ball, we can see tiger is striking the ball with a descending blow. Boom, boom, boom. And when he strikes the golf ball here, you can see that the shaft is leaning forward. So he's got that downward angle of attack. After impact, we can see his hands are rotating over and his right knee is still driving forward. He has great extension of his arms here. Very, very straight. Which again is maximizing the power that he has in the golf swing. And then he goes up. 
and finishes with the club behind him and his right foot releases and the weight finishes on his left leg just like this that's how you get power by being able to hold that lag on the downswing I can't promise you 400 yard drives but I certainly think this will be able to increase your clubhead speed and your distance.